Alrighty, hosses, welcome back. And in this video, I want to talk to you about file attributes. So every single file on your computer has a set of attributes associated with it. And these are pretty much just properties of the file. And to give you guys a real quick overview of all the different attributes, there aren't that many. If you just type ATTRIB and do your little help symbol, then you're going to see a real quick guideline or cheat sheet of what they are. And a lot of these you're probably really familiar with. Um, for example, A, archive, this means basically whether or not a file needs to be backed up. Um, let's see, hidden. Of course, you guys know what hidden means. And not only like whenever you're just looking at files, like through Windows Explorer, but also whenever you use the DIR command, if a file is hidden, then it's not going to show up. So again, hidden files are usually just to prevent people from deleting them. So that's why you would have those read only. Um, this pretty much means that you can open a file and view it, but you can't edit it or actually delete it. System files, of course, those are ones that are needed by Windows, tomato, tomato, so on and so forth. So basically, we have all these attributes that can be applied to files. But how do we know which file has which attributes? Say we have a text file and we want to see what attributes it has. How do we do that? Well, let me go ahead and clear my screen and make a text file. I'll just write like, go, hey, bacon.txt. All right. So if you write DAR, we see that we now have a file called bacon.txt. So where are the attributes? Well, in order to view the attributes, what you do is move into the directory and write att rib. So this means show the files and tell me what attributes are associated with it. Now, right here, we can see that we have the A. So right here on the left, and if you remember, this means archived. So let's say that, all right, right now the file has that attribute, but we also want to make this a hidden file. So how do we actually add attributes to this? Well, in order to add attributes, type your ATTRAB keyword again. And if you want to add an attribute, just write plus and then the letter name. Now, remember, in again, it doesn't matter if it's capital or lowercase, but H means hidden. So you have to use the little guideline or cheat sheet. And what file do you want to add the hidden attribute to? Well, how about bacon.txt? And now if you look at the files again, you can see that this is has the A and H. So it is now a hidden file. And if we can verify that, I actually have um, my window set up to display hidden files, but I don't know if you guys can even notice this, but it, it's kind of um, transparent. And if it wasn't hidden, it would be completely opaque. I'm sure you guys can even notice that. It's like the tiniest icon on a YouTube video, but trust me, um, it is hidden as we can see here. So what if we're like, all right, I don't want to make that file hidden anymore. I actually want to remove the hidden attribute and I want to add a read only attribute. Whoa, my man, that is really easy. I don't know why I'm doing this. I could easily just type, look how lazy I am, ATTRB. All right, so we want to add the read only, so plus R, and we can also do this all in one big shebang. So take away the hidden attribute, bacon.txt, and now if we look at those again, check it out. So we took away the hidden and added read only. So there you go. There is your real quick introduction to attributes. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.